Nike Maverick, Nike Maverick Free. Boom, let's talk about it. Thank you so much for joining us. I am Tyler, an optician here from Sport RX, and we are being joined by our friend Patsy from Nike Vision. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. Oh, we love having you. Okay, we are talking about the Nike Maverick, which has been around for a while, and the new Nike Maverick Free, and what the differences are, why you care, and what is better for you. But before we jump into that, I would like to invite you to subscribe. If you find this content interesting or valuable at all, when you subscribe, when new content drops, it'll go directly to you. You'll hear first, and we would love that for you. Also, check us out on Instagram. Check us out on Facebook, at SportRx. We have good stuff there, too. Okay, let's jump into this. Maverick, the Maverick has been around for a little while. A couple of years. Yeah, uh, and they added the Maverick free. What does that mean? What does free mean? How do they free it? So at Nike Vision, we like to get as much feedback from, as possible from opticians, frame stylists, and also consumers. And while everybody loved the Maverick, some of the feedback that we got is people like to have the option of not having that lower frame. Absolutely. Yeah, that is definitely a very common feature that people ask for and like to have that semi-rimless design, especially for any sport application. And that's the thing that I've really loved about the Maverick is that it's been a really good, what I call hybrid design, which is great for sport. It's not as aggressive as your everyday super sport specific frame can be worn for just about any sport, but also worn off the court, off the field, and it's not gonna look out of place. And that's what's been great about it. Uh, and you have essentially captured that same effective design, but you've added a little bit extra sport detail to it. Absolutely. The other is also if you are wearing a progressive, some people, again, don't like to have the frame on the bottom that they feel it does yeah. impair the lower field of vision. That's right. So it just gives you the option. But also some of the great features that we have in the original Maverick that we've, of course, uh, continued with in the Maverick Free is the ventilated bridge. Awesome. This is absolutely amazing. Not only is it ventilated, which prevents the lenses from fogging up during any activity or any change in the temperature between the lens and the outside air, is it also has a grip. And this awesome. is really important because regardless of how active you are wearing this frame, helps to keep your optics stable at all times. That's right, and that's super important. You got grip everywhere. You got grip on the temples as well. Grip it and rip it, am I right? Absolutely. <laughs> Not only is it grip it, but it's the extra flexibility that we have in the temples oh, if yeah. you want to give that a little flex. Look at that. Wow. I love this feature. Um, this is especially comfortable, especially for long wear. You can wear it underneath a helmet strap, over, however you prefer, but it also fits perfectly underneath a baseball cap. Very important since many of us are wearing baseball caps for extra protection from the sun or from the glare, um, or also with a visor. Yeah, that's awesome. And they feel great, I would say fit-wise. Uh, probably a little bit uh, big for me, me being more of a small to medium. This is probably a, a medium to even large fit. Yes, medium to large fit. You're absolutely right. Um, the other thing that you will notice is that this lens is a little bit shorter than on the original Maverick. So when we did the Maverick free, it we've eliminated about five millimeters on the lens. That's awesome. So, I, I mean, I would still say if you have worn the Maverick and you're considering the Maverick free, I think that you're gonna be safe to, to bet that it's gonna fit you really well. Uh, I would also like to point out the fact that we have done a unique video on this frame alone where we go into a little more detail about the frame features and everything about the frame. So check that out for sure. Uh, anything more that we've missed? I think we've covered it all. <sighs> Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Again, comment down below if you have any questions, feel like we missed anything, we will get back to you. Like if this was helpful to you at all. And uh, thank you for watching.